was, that? He was downtown. Ain't nobody around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Running red lights. We treat them bitches like stop signs. Hell no. I ain't riding with your ass. No well. Man. You should've you should have been when I had that charger, boy. <laughs> it was I my I was I was right with angle line. When you said nigga was that's why I don't even want no muscle car right now. You feel me? You know? I'll be pushing at me. That's how my shit used to sound. Mm, R.I.P. R.I.P. I want that. I want that. You want any music played? Or anything? Are you talking about like my music? Or anything? Uh, Yeah, sure, we can do that. I got the music. We do the music I have put out. My little last little project. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, so I'm gonna drink that shit. Today seems like Friday. It do. It's late Thursday. <sighs> my girl just cheered on my ass. I ain't respond back to her text. <laughs> but then I sent her a message on Snapchat. She said, nigga, respond back to my message. He <laughs> told me I respond. Hey. Oh, she texting I was driving. I, I, it was raining. It was it was doing all extra shit. Niggas all in my lanes and shit. Doing the fucking most. People, when it, when it rain, people like, I think this is the time yeah, 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 that I yeah, can yeah, just yeah. drive like yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, say. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. Make sure. Yo, 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 testing. Yeah, that's nice and loud. You heard yourself? Uh, Yes, I did. How you guys doing today? Because <laughs> I'm going to take my headphones off. So, All right. <clears throat> keep yours on. Yeah, yo, yo. Just gotta remember to talk in the mic. My ears don't, don't start sweating with that shit on. That's why I be taking it off. Especially since I'm drinking now. That shit. Exactly. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not it's about to have me sweating. And I swear, people give me a wrong time. Huh? I said sometimes people text me at the wrong times. Ready? Dry. Man, I'm just start looking at this one. Let me try on scratch.
What's up, everybody? Robin E here checking in. We are back in the purple room with another episode of Pillow Talk Podcast. You already know, voted Chicago's top podcast of 2023. You already know this is what absolutely where it's at. Today, I'm super excited. I got my gang in the building. This is really like my brother. Like, we done been through some things together, okay? We done been through some, some tribulations, okay? We done been through some shit, okay? <laughs> we got Will Freddie B in the building. Yes. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. You know, uh, it was a voyage coming. It was a voyage coming. You know what I'm saying? But we here. You know, we made it safe. The rain tried to stop us, and he said, no way. Let's get it. Dirty rain. Dirty rain doing the most. No, but I'm excited that you're here. Um, this is a long overdue interview. I feel like we're supposed to do this We shit, did. Like, we, we did. Months and months and months ago. But it didn't happen. It was like, we tried to do it, but then uh, Calvin had, like, some some show. He was like, ah, oh, you know what? I just push this back. I'm like, you know what? You right. Cause I was So you blaming me? No, no, no. It was perfect because I didn't leave out the house. <laughs> I was supposed to got there like at six and then like I'm like, oh, any problem at that five. When I looked that motherfucker, what it said hour forty five. I'm like, damn, damn. <laughs> I gotta be at an hour. <laughs> and then so about to leave, he said, you know, we could do it another day. I said, perfect. I don't even gotta leave out no more. So, so you weren't trying to leave anyway. That's crazy. Nah, I was trying to leave. I was gonna be late. <laughs> I was gonna be. I was about 45, 50 minutes late. Yeah, bro. but we here. We, we here. here. We here. We here. Definitely, we here. definitely. We here. Well, I'm excited. I'm happy you made the trip today. And to, be, and to be honest, this is technically our second interview because we did our first one on tour. We did. We yeah. did. Shout out to tour. Shout out to the tour. Okay. Uh, with those who shall remain in. No, I'm just kidding. But shout out to them. It was definitely a vibe. Shout out to Smitty. He in the back. You feel me? He came up here. Shout out to Game. Definitely was a two-time. You know, it, it, was, it was. It was. It was. We had fun, though. We had fun. It was a time. It was a time. So, you know, we met on tour. And that was the first time I actually got a chance to, you know, see you in your element, hear your music and stuff. Now, I don't know if, you know, Pillow Talk Nation, y'all might not know him that well. But if you do know him, then you know he's he's one of a kind, definitely. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you're like a very lively, like funny person. And then I feel like when you're on stage, you just turn to this whole other person. It's just like, <laughs> it's just like, that's true because it's just like, I know, like, I know who I am. Cause it's like a, there's, it's an, entertain, an entertaining side of me. Yeah. It's a want a person want to make a person laugh. It's like I just know the difference, the times. You know, sometimes it's time for me to be quiet. Mm-hmm. You know, but when I hit that stage, I just know it's that element time. I know where to be, my mindset. You know, it just and I can be ha 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 laugh and then get on stage and just oh, mm. just it just you just know when it's that time and turn it on. So that's mm-hmm. just how it is when you even just with you with the podcast, you can be a Laughable go person, then you can hello. So how are you? You feel me? It just you just know how to turn it like on when you got it. <laughs> Not just like that. You gotta like that. You gotta like that way. <laughs> but you, you get what feel I'm saying. No, you're right you right though. You right though. No, you right though. Absolutely. Well, I love that about you. That's definitely one of my favorite things about you as a performer. Just the way you get on stage and you just command attention. So you know, we want to definitely get back to that. But I gotta know. You know, people got knows well. What side are you from? What side are you from? Who you from? Chicago. Well, I'm from Chicago. I'm from, originally, I'm from the low end, you know, from 47 in Michigan. But after my pops passed away, we moved further south. And she really, I'm a, I'm a south baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm from out south, you okay. know, big south side. Okay, out but, south coming but, through. But, you know, I know how my other side of family, they over east, you know what I'm saying? Then my other side of family, they out west, <laughs> you know. So I'm here there, you know, I'm all in there. A little bit up north, but not really. <laughs> not up. really. <laughs> not really. I think it's one person I know that was like up north or something. Yeah, How about one person? But I stayed out west and over east, though. I technically live over east right now. So Okay. So over okay. east. Okay. For sure, for sure. Still south side. So so so, so you rep the south side. So 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 <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. I love the south side. I'm, I've been out there a lot more lately, actually, just checking out venues and shit that's going on. It be, it be little stuff going on out there. It is. I was a little scared to go out there. I ain't going to hold you. Man, people be trying to. Listen, I ain't going to hold you. Man, you know, like, it just, I don't, it, it just got a bad rep, you know. And, like, you know, I just how I look at it, right? We south side, we just, you know, when people that are from the south side and they Cubs fans, I'm like, bro, what is you doing? That's not south side. Mm-mm. You know, so everything out south ain't out south. Okay. You no, know, so sometimes you got some good people over south. You got some crazy people over south. You got some hustlers over south. Yeah. You got some scammers over south. We all out there. Now, you go out west, 
you know, that's a different part of the town. You know what I'm saying? They they are them. <laughs> they are them. You know what I'm saying? They they are who they are. So, okay. But well, South Side. South, South side. side. You ain't wrong. I love the West Side too sometimes, but you ain't wrong about that either. So <laughs> well, my uncle still wearing the same. Like he still think that it's no. That man had an M and M whole jumpsuit, bro. Oh my god! And pulled out a bag of M and M's. I said, said, "You thought you killed with that move, did you?" <laughs> He's, yeah, I did earlier. Yeah, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, you pulled that shit with your buddies over there, but that will be <laughs> that shit up out of here. Oh, bro. <laughs> hey, I, I said the whole oh Eminem god. suit, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. Crazy. Definitely crazy. That's funny, though. You silly. Okay, yeah, South Side. Definitely. Hey, but Pelly's, you know, I still rock a Pelly, though. You got a Pelly? What? I had a Pelly. A girl, she took it. She didn't ever give it back. It was busting, though, wasn't it? It was. It was all black. It had a little black. It had the crystals in the back. It was fucking <laughs> cold. Yeah, shorty. I want my shit back. <laughs> that shit over with. Over with. That, that shit had like, a That was like though. seven years ago. That was like eight. That was like she seven years ago. or something like that. She just gave that to another nigga. Oh, bro. She t- oh, bro. <laughs> that, hey, who pelly is this? Shit, my, nah. <laughs> Rocking my pelly and shit right now. Oh, my God. He's <laughs> silly. My shit stop. sitting in another nigga closet Please right now. Please fucking stop. <laughs> the back of the nigga Anyway. <laughs> anyway. It is pelly season, so, you know. Thanks. You might want to get y'all one. But, you know, we here today to chop it up about your music and just see everything that you've been doing. I actually didn't know you was, you know, continuing to put out some new music, so I want to dive a little bit into that. But Pillow Talk Nation, you know, we don't really know about your sound like that. You know what I'm saying? So describe your sound as far as music and, and what that what the vibe is. Well, people like when people really start listening to my music, they be like, I don't know where to put you at because really it's different. Like, my first project I ever put out, I was trying to do some singing, like, on some heartbreak stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. But then, like, originally, I'm, like, what brought me to music was hard old school rap. Like, bars, bars, bars. Like, just, like, having a contest about something, like, something that's relatable, something that you can feel. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of my music stemmed from, like, how I feel. Okay. Like, like I made a song. I was going through something, like, with a, with a, with a friend of mine, and... I told my mom about it, and then I like she heard my new song. She said, "She said, boy, you when you go through something, you put it in the music, don't mm. you? Like it just when you go through things, and I've been through certain things in my life because I got music I haven't put out that like you, that people like when they start hearing it, they gonna like man, like mm. you are. I don't know where to put you at because I want to sing sometimes, I want to harmonize, I want to do melodies, I want to have a good hook, or I want to." Be it straight bars in this one. I don't want to put no hook in here. I'm about to just rap through this whole beat. Mm-hmm. I just like, for me, music is a feeling and it's a sound and like, whatever mode you in, you could be in a depressed time and you know, like look at Juice. He was a, in a like going through some depressing moments and yeah. he laid it on the track and people that are going through like certain depressions and certain problems, they relate to it so much because mm-hmm. it's so it just what you naturally going through and what you feel. And that's why I kind of, that's how I make my music. I try not to, I right, diss the song, everybody like, mm-hmm. let me make a song that everybody gonna like. Everybody make those songs, like, but like, I don't, I don't try to just go in the booth and do that. It's more for, more so, I feel this beat. Oh, let me think about this. Oh, I, like when I really started, like, in the booth, I'm Googling, oh, what, I'm Googling, like, how to, how to, like, what, I, I would literally say something, and I'm like, I don't even know what I just said. Let me mm. Google what I just said. And I'm like, damn, that fit. Like, mm. that really, like, I want to, and then, like, I take, like, the, the subject from what I just, like, learned from that and just move it on to the next verse or something like that. It just, like, me, I'm, I learn with this. And for me, really, with music, like, I've never been, like, the best reader, the best speller. Mm. And when I come down and I lay some or write some, and I'm learning every time. I'm learning how to stay productive with reading and writing and learning new words. And mm. so it's still, it's helping me and. And when I come up with a good song, and I, I'm like, it, I feel good because, you know, like when I was young, I used to try to rap, and they just mm. laugh at me, like, cause it was trash, mm. which it was. <laughs> it really was trash. What, what, what age was you? Did you start rapping? Like, how old were you doing that? Like nine, eight, nine. What was you rap- rapping at about at nine years old? Man, I don't even know. Like we was talking, I hit you with the Dragon Ball Z or something, whatever <laughs> we was listening to or some. But like my cousin, he really, really, like you know, Dragon Ball Z. Man. You know, like, when I, I was young, you I watched it. Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Got a problem with Dragon Ball Z, 
I, 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 okay. I, you know, you feel me? It just, I don't know what I used to be rapping about. Mm-hmm. It was trash. Like, I do remember, like, my, my sister, she had found a rap. I wrote, like, probably, like, sophomore year or something. When I say, oh, I remember one verse, like, when you read it back, it said, T4 people calling my name. Don't play with me because I run game. Like, like, like it was like, really like that was like I still remember that horrible, Going crazy. like horrible, no horrible. That's horrible. T four people are calling my name. What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> exactly, bro. Like it's trash. And it, like for me, like to actually take my time and do better and re- actually study the game and learn. How, like that's how I really did. Like I took master classes like to learn mm. like I what is the meaning what is this how you create a song like not just trying to just make anything so yeah. I kind of wanted to learn what I was doing just to better myself and yeah. like I say every time you just learning something new even like you say with the podcast you gonna learn a new filter new edit a new way to talk yeah. just a new something like the more you do it the better you get at it so thanks yeah. okay okay with the origin story prophecy at nine years old rapping about that Dragon Ball Z <laughs> so when you growing up for you then like what was one album or like an artist that really you know resonated with you uh well music wise i was growing music but rap like honestly i was i was kept away from rap like mom mm. like i was grew up with my moms my aunties my grandmas like when i went to like even like my uncle they listen to they rap so i'm listening to I'm listening to Biggie, Outkast, Tupac, Nas. I'm listening to Twister, like people like artists that they listen to. But majority it was R and B, like old school R and B and stuff like that. That sold that I couldn't touch my grandma radio at her house. Yeah. Like, don't change my channel like station. I don't I don't care it's a brand new radio. I just don't want you touching my touching my stuff. It don't change from this station. Like, that's how I grew up. And then like I got like ten my cousin like played me the song Biggie Give Me the Loop and it just changed my whole I said, bro, what? Like right he was saying the most craziest shit I've never like it was funny because I really like the reason why I like Biggie because he was talking about like stealing and shit. I used to be a bad little thief when I would like steal from stores and shit like that. Like I had a little bad little problem. Damn, pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty. <laughs> But I had to like I used to get searched leaving. You feel me? Like come here. Come here. Let me see your pocket. Yeah, that's when you know you bad as fuck. They gotta search your pocket. Like I I don't do it no more. I I stopped when I got older. Around like 17, 18, I was like, you can't be out here still. You get Duh, nigga. Right, talking about you 17, 18, you're going to jail now. You're of course you're going to you gonna gonna stop. Now. Oh, God. But I just couldn't do that no more. You feel me? But mm-hmm. it just like it was just the things Biggie was saying in that song. It just opened my eyes to different music. Then I started, like, then the first time I heard Too Short, mm-hmm. oh, my God. I was like, biatch. Oh, my mama. Like, I, that's why I really, like, started loving the word bitch, for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! And then my uncle just listened to Pimp C. It was horrible. I was like, all oh, the shit was coming. Hey, out. that's when Pimp it started C, definitely. hitting me, bro. Then I it was more of a mix of like the old school, but okay. When I heard my start going from like straight, and then plus it was straight gospel music too. Like so we going to church every wow. Wednesday and Sunday. So you had that Pimp C and then gospel the yeah. next day. Yeah, I'm bro. Okay, I'm bro. <laughs> my mama was not allowed. I, I remember my mama was like. 11. I bought an MP3 player. She took my shit. She told me, no, you are not allowed to listen to what you want to. I said, damn. Damn, Damn, bro. But, hey. Mm, That only made you want to listen to it more? Well, not really, really. But, like, when I had the the opportunity to, I'm definitely going to listen. You feel me? But I wasn't like, oh, I need this. You feel me? Mm. I did a little sneaky little... I did buy me another one, but this time I ain't tell her. You feel me? Oh, you just hit that, huh? I hit that one. Okay. I got out that when I left out that crib. Oh, mm, mm. I started listening to Gucci Man at that point too. 
Oh, God. <laughs> it's over with. Cooking, cooking shit. Listen, over that nigga, with. that's funny. Okay, so I definitely like those inspirations. Pimpsy, I feel like, is a definitely like a overlooked artist in terms oh, of like sure. that earlier rap and stuff, too. For sure, for sure. So do you feel like you include some of that gospel as well in your music? Oh, for sure. Like, it's like, it always... Like, I, I, like when I put a... When I, you know, when I hear a gospel song, it just... It always hit home. Here. Like, when you hear just... Never... What I, ooh, why you just... It just changed your whole... Your whole song. How, how it go? How it go? Never would have made a... Whatever. Without you. Wow. Well, I don't think he did that part, but... <laughs> Oh God! And what? Okay. But now I see what that you will never be strong. Fine. <laughs> hey, you feel? I still, it's still here. Oh, oh my God! Come on! Come on! Come on, there, Freddie! Come on, there! Take us to church, there. Take us to church. See, it's still there. It's there. I'm telling you, I was in the choir of what for? Oh, so Nine years, my mama told me, whatever you do outside the church, you're going to do in. So mm. I started playing football. She's like, we're going to play an outer sport. You better pick something to do in church. Mm. She's trying to make me do a mime. I wasn't, I wasn't putting that shit on my face, bro. Oh, wait, a mime? Yeah, those, like a church mime. <laughs> the dancers. The dancers. Oh, okay, okay, like, they okay. Like that mime, they put the mime, they, they need, what they need. They they call praise them, dancers praise, praise dancers yeah but they put they literally put their mind they put the shit the paint on their face they like the, the black white, and white yes yes they wore black with white gloves because okay. I was a dancer and then she was like I know you can do that you be pop watching already <laughs> I'm like I'm not putting that shit on my face like <laughs> I'll be in the choir not for the Lord I'll be in the choir for the Lord and Savior I sing to him every every third Sunday you want to praise dance the Lord and Savior no I'm not putting it on my face. <laughs> Oh no! Mm-mm. I used to see them like after they had performed, and they like they do a little service, and you would see them afterwards. They half wipe the shit off their face. Nah, bro. Half wipe. Yeah, so you still see the white and black all on their skin. It's, nah, I'm good, love. You silly. I'm good. I'm not trying to look like no clown. Okay. Nah. So I mean, with you being like in the church background, has your family ever felt the way about you doing music, or they always oh, been supportive? Man. My mama, she like, she like my songs. She like, I like, but I'm not trying to handle that cussing. I need clean okay. versions. You feel me? I want to play around somebody. I don't want to hit no cussing. So it's a lot of cussing in your music. Yeah, yeah. She she be telling me to stop saying the word bitch. It's just like. That's your favorite word? It is. <laughs> I do better, though. I'll do better. i do better. But I like, I like she do definitely be on that, though. Okay. Like, like, clean it up a little bit. And like, you know. Like, she heard one of my little freaks. I said, it wasn't for you to hear. You know what I'm saying? All my songs are not for you to hear. But they're out there. You can't expect for her not to find them if they're out there. Yeah, but just know to skip that one next time. What you? Your mama not going to do that. Skip that. You like to skip on that. Okay. You know but she definitely, like, they still go to church. Mm. I don't think they go every Sunday like how we did when I was younger. But uh, they still go on Sundays, though. We went every Wednesday and Sunday. Every Wednesday and Sunday. Mm. So you know your Bible. I did. Not anymore. No, not really. I still remember the <laughs> stories. Because, like, really, I used to really question. Like, we used to be in a little Bible class, little kid. I'm like, that don't make sense to me. <laughs> the Lord did it. You know, like, it just certain things just really don't. And the Bible really, like, I, I, I believe certain things. Like, it's a, a man written book, so anybody can say whatever they want. Mm, but some true, stories, though. some stories align in certain books. And so, like, you know, people get to, like, when things start contradicting itself, it starts seeming funny to me. Like, all is welcome, but if you gay, you can't come. Like, I thought all was welcome. Mm. You feel me? If you if you a, a thug, you can't come. If you're not if you're not dressed in church attire, you can't come. Hold on, y'all. You're confusing me. You feel me? Like, to me, it's just, I thought all was welcome, but I don't know. Church is a fact. That's a fact. I mean, it's, yeah, it's one of those... Those topics though that definitely can get a little little controversy because yeah because like it just like whatever people believe in that's cool like that's good for them but like it just like everybody gonna have some type of doubt or, or belief they they say of like mm-hmm. some people grew up straight Christian now they Muslims all type right. of stuff like cat I know some people that you be Christian they Catholics now like it just people convert over what makes sense to them you know what do you want to believe in Fact. you feel me that's what that's all it's about. Not about what anybody else care. We got to say, what do you believe in? 
Like you can't judge a person for wanting to believe in something better. Like for that can give them the power and the, the will to keep going. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people just need a will. Facts. You know, so. Facts. Big facts. You believe in heaven and hell? Do I? I have uh, on the back of my neck, I got two women tatted on like, both of my ears whispering. It's a devil woman. It's an angel woman. Mm-hmm. And they both whisper in my ear because women are like, they can be your greatest attribute, but then they can be your worst downfall. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes, they, a woman can drive you straight down to the gutter. To the yeah. You know what I'm talking about? But nah, okay. just. I'm not going to agree to that statement, but okay. You, so you telling me all <laughs> women out here. No, they, you, you not wrong. You not wrong. But I, know, bashed, I know y'all be on y'all bashed. straight. Women can never do wrong. I'm going to side with you no matter what, girl. But No, you're not, you're not wrong. But you're like, not wrong. The same you're way, though. Wrong. It's the same way. Like, I believe in the heaven and the hell. Because if you, if you leave it, like, like good, it's always going to be evil. Like, X. like it's the same. It's always a balance. Yin, yang, right, wrong. Like, all of it the same. Like, you can't just say this, 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 that, that. And, like, what about this? Ah, nah, never mind. We're going to forget about that. Very true. Like, but I be telling, like, like my girl, she be talking about some. I plan things out, and things just should go how it should. You forgot about a life bump, but you talk about mm-hmm. like something going to happen. Like mm-hmm. you can't just plan all the good in your life and like not think something bad is going to come. You feel me? Like for myself, like personally, like two years ago, my life was different. Like how it was from now. Mm-hmm. Like a bunch of life changed. I'm about to be thirty. It's like I'm learning. Thirty. More. Yeah. Thirty. Three o. <laughs> Three o. It's like, you know, just new beginnings and you just learn and you, you, like, we're in a point of our lives that people won't, people want to, like, be in control of their lives in a point. Like, we didn't see working, like, 50, 60 hours and just seeing, like, you just devoted to a straight company. Mm-hmm. And then, like, you get to a point of why I can't do that for myself. Mm-hmm. You know, like, why I can't put this time and put this effort and put some money to better myself. Yeah. And then, like, you know, I took that role, and I still stayed afloat, but, like, you like, damn, shit didn't go how you think it's going to go all the time, but everything a learning lesson, and then you, when you, when you learn, when you, when you fall, when you fail, it becomes a lesson. So you got to learn from that, and you just keep going, and then sometimes things don't work out, but you got to just, you'll never give up, bro. I just, like, people tell, like, they like, I don't get it how, like, you just be going through some shit, and you just act like ain't nothing going on. I'm like, what I'm going to do? Mm. What can I do? Like, I'm, I'm only in control what I can control right sure. now. Like, I can't make my life. I want to, I got a six, I got a, a 625 credit score. I think I want a 750. I can't push my credit score to bump up within no few weeks, few months. Like, right. you got, well, I can't, if I want to go get a property, I can't just think it's going to happen. You got to take time. If I just want to get a business, it's going to take time. Things just take time. So... That's why I'm at in life, you know, just uh, learning. Yeah. Learning and just continuing. I just, I just, to me, I just can't never give up. Because I was taught coming up, like, you are great. You can be great. Mm. Like, whatever you can, like, put your mindset to, you can do it. Yeah. So I just feel like when something bad happens, I'm going to put my mindset to it. And I'm going to get up out that hole. Or I'm going to just continue doing what I got to do. So... For me, like, life just can't stop. Like, okay. it ain't gonna stop for me. It ain't gonna stop for you. That shit gonna keep pushing. Facts. Um, that's how I'm kind of. <laughs> okay. I, I try. I we try. gonna we gonna clap it up for that. You dropped some definitely some major life gems, and that's very true. You know, overcoming obstacles and just navigating through life for unforeseen circumstances, it's there. You can't you know ignore that shit or get away from that. So it's only right to, you know, acknowledge that the inevitable is there, you know, the transparency, definitely. So let's get back to the music a little bit, because I definitely want to give people an opportunity to hear, you know, what you sound like, what your sound is like, you know what I'm saying? So 2023, the year is damn near over. Thanksgiving is coming up. That's a fact. Christmas. And then we, it's a whole new year. We, f- we're in the, we're in a whole new realm of years now. That's a whole new fact, because... Like, I put out that four months ago, like mm-hmm. four months ago. And my kickoff, goal, kickoff EP. It, it's the kickoff, you know. I played football for 10 years, so I kind of reference it towards, in the football sense, like, this is the beginning. This is how this is going to start off. Because it's really supposed to be like, so I got the kickoff, 
Then I got the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. Oh, okay. So, like, those, like, the EP said, because I, I got all the music, mm. but it, it got to a point, like, now I'm gonna, I'm trying to get the best quality music I can. Mm. Like, I want to put, I learned from putting out music, like, these last few years, you got to get the marketing dollars right. You got to, yeah. you got to get yourself put out there. And then, 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 and then. And then, 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 and then. Put everything up and just kind of, you know, take the time move. And like that, like that was, I've been there for like five and a half years. So it was like a, like, ah, I got to go. But, but it was, it was cool because it gave me a time like to sit back because like, I start going through like little small things in my life. I'm like, see, now if I, if, if I was to be still trying to flood all my, like invest in myself, invest in myself, do this, like I probably wouldn't have had the mindset to take the time and do what I gotta do. Yeah. Cause sometimes you try to like, oh, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Like, nah, just sit back, relax. It's just not right now. Right. So I'm at a point of just relaxing and not rushing. Cause I tend like, sometimes like, growing up, I used to just, just like my mind run a thousand miles per hour, so I try to do things a thousand miles per hour. Mm. So I try to slow down when I do things, like when I drive, when I talk, like like that's how it start because I just I can be in control of that. And if I just slow certain things down in my life, maybe certain things just slow down, you know. Mm. Getting away from certain people, dealing with certain people, mm. you know, you can be with some a spouse or a friend for ten years or fifteen years and. It just might not work. You know, sometimes you got to do things for yourself. Right, right. You know? Okay. So all of that kind of helped inspire the EP? Yeah. So why do you break up EPs? Because you said you, you have this and then you have another the first quarter, you said, and the other one. So how do you know, like, when enough is enough on one to start, like, another one? Well, really, to be honest, I started, like, throughout, like, the year, I was making a, a bunch of music at home. Okay. Like, I had all this time, like, I mean, really, like, I started, when I was working, I, I was, the way I set my schedule up, I was in control of my schedule. Mm -hmm. So I was able to, like, to work when I wanted, and you know what, hey, on this day, I'm going to take two days off, I'm going to record for those two days. Okay. You feel me? And like, cool, we ain't going to work in two days, you know what I'm saying? I do construction. Mm -hmm. So, excuse me. So we all right back, we get them two days off, those be off days, bam. Mm -hmm. And it just, I started making so much music, and I, at certain times, I was going through certain points, like, uh. I was going through a certain period and I made certain songs and then mm. I was going through it. it. It just, you just start making certain songs, certain feelings and you're like, right, let me just start putting this together. Let me, what what can, like, what's the best song? Like, you want to put every song out, but you want to make a song, like the songs cohesive in some type of way. And like, I just, in the era when I made them, I just set them off. Because these songs I made for like the last like year and a half, I'll say. Mm, so, okay. like the songs I put out then, like that, mm. those are more so recent songs. Okay. Like I made last year. So, uh, not last year, like the early this year. Okay. Early this year. I'm already in 2024. But, and you produce all your own stuff? Uh, or do you have a producer? Like me, like I record all my own music. Okay. Like I record everything myself. Then like I got an engineer, like he know what he doing, but then like, I'm like, oh, I kind of want want this sound like this, and even we make beats together. I want to add this kick, this then like mm. it's just you building together. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I want to make beats, but I'm trying to focus on the music. So if you know how to do this, let's come together and work together. And let me tell you my vision and how I want this song to sound, and you know, and we can come up with it together. Okay. So I like to be like in touch with my music with it. Yeah. So a lot of these songs was like that, like. I liked it, the beats. Some of the beats I had purchased from other like engineers. Like I had put a post out, like all engineers send me beats, and I like, went on Instagram and paid for like a thirty day uh, a thirty day thing. Okay. So I paid like thirty days, mm. and like, I was getting hella emails, mm. hella DMs, and shit like that. So like that's when mm. I, like stuff like that. So like I don't got time making beats. Let me let me see what y'all got. Thanks. Let me see what feel good to me when I can make some music off that. Mm. So each one of them projects is going they're going to be cohesive in a way and like I like people that heard them they like them. They like damn it. They like this is not that first project you put out. Like, mm. No, it's not like that. Okay. <laughs> it like that first project I put out, it was cool. Like 
sometimes I go back and listen to it and I cringe like <sighs> right <laughs> But I want people to see my growth. Exactly. It's so, a growing process. It's a growing, I want people like, oh, this way he started, this way he was at, now look at him now. Yeah. So that's what I want my music to do, and that's what my life, I want my life to represent as well. Like, yes. I don't want to just be talking, talk, like, I want to walk the walk as well, shoot. Facts. Absolutely. Okay. You got that business. Facts. Because you know my label is called Franchise Made Bosses. Mm. You know? You know? Her, absolutely. You know, huh? I should wear my shirt. I have a red one that I got. We was on tour. You sure do. You I'm sure sorry. do. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> but man. I do still got it you though. Know? I'm gonna post it on my Instagram. And I still got your your um your badge. Oh. Your little Her. 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 As you should. Okay. okay. Support your friends. That's Support good. your That's friends. Well, I'm definitely excited. You know, for everybody to hear some of it. So we got the kickoff EP here. Okay. So it's five tracks. Five tracks on here. All of them. All the EPs are going to be five songs. Okay, they all going to be five? Yeah. Okay. Now, should we listen to this in order, or is there a favorite song that you like? Stacking. Stacking is what everybody like. Everybody likes stacking. And then... Um, you got a little Stara, but I'm going to see what you say, though. Yeah, I am about to say that one. Everybody like that one, too. Stop Me. Yeah, Stop Me. And I'm bad with names. I'm in my own show. Yeah, it doesn't wait. That's 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 the that's the one I say that's the song like to the heart more. Oh, we're gonna play that one. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna play that one. Yeah, that one to the heart more. See I took my glass on here, it's screaming. Stop me. Stop me. So I'm back probably with the late night crew. Giving J. Cole had, for me. I had to stop listening to that, man. It's getting a little cold. But that's a compliment. I mean, that's a compliment. That's, that's my, your favorite rapper? That's my number one favorite rapper. And I, like, I, literally, favorite? I literally stopped listening. Like, I, when J. Cole, when, like, I remember when I was, like, a freshman in high school, I'm like, bro, y'all need to listen to this dude, J. Cole. And I'm like, they literally was laughing at me. Like, literally mm. laughing at me. Then two years later, he started putting out, that's you true. got a good day. Well, I, 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 y'all, I said, this is, this is, this is good, but y'all, y'all need to go here. Sleep, sleeping. Born Simba, like, mm. come on, like, Friday Night Lights, like, this is what I, mm. when he was putting that out, that's when I was, I've been listening to J. Cole over 10 years, so, mm. like, I really don't even listen to him no more. Because Why? he, 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 I get to listening to him, and then I get to rapping like him. Mm. Like, because that's my, it's like, yeah. That, Okay. You feel me? Like that's like I, I definitely hear that a little bit though. I ain't, I didn't even know that was your favorite rapper. J. Cole was my favorite I rapper. didn't even know. I just literally heard the comparison. Been listening to J Cole for ten years. Damn. 
damn. Yeah, man. I've been listening to Drake for a while, too. Like, when I first heard, like, in the morning, I was like, this song is so Baby. cool. Can I hit it in the morning? The sun rising while you moaning. Yeah. Yeah, that's a banger. Oh, definitely a banger. Yeah. Shout out to Drake. But yeah, definitely a banger. I I mean, like I said before, you know, I feel like when you perform or just your music, like it's like a 360. Like, not that you're not this person, obviously, when you're not performing, but your music, I feel like it just it's not expected. When people talk to you, whatever they hear, they like, damn, like yeah. it's like that. Damn. Cause like really, like I'm a funny person, goofy guy, but then like I get like real serious because like I when I grew up, I ain't really grew up with kids. I grew up around mm. a lot of adults. Like, I was around my uncles and, like, his friends. And, you know, my dad, like, when he passed away, I was still around his friends. Like, okay. like when my dad died, like, I used to go to my godfather house every weekend. Like, it's it was, like, basically, like, if your parents to get divorced type shit, like, you're going to be with mom through the week, and then you're going to be with him through the weekend. Because he was my barber. Mm. Like, that was my job. I swept hell over weekends. Like, I play. I used to like sell candy out the out the barber shops. I used to like play chess and hustle grown men out of money. Mm. Like, like it. That's like that's how I grew up in a barber shop. Like all my life, I even cut hair myself. Like I never went to school, but like I kind of did because they own a barber college. So I used okay. to just I, I just I was being taught my whole life. Mm. So when I actually like just got a little. A little knowledge and I like to push. I was like, oh, this kind of like, it comes. Oh, this kind of easy. You mm. feel me? Like, but. It just, like it just, it, I don't know. It's just, mm. it's just different. It's just different. Yeah. So, I don't know. Like my life is just like I'm, like like what they say. Don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. Like I might be goofy, ha ha ha. But you know how many times like it offended me at first when girls started saying it. Oh, you know I wanted your mess. I thought you was a goofy. Like you just like you want mm. to be. It's like you want to be the center of attention. Like it's just me. It mm. just that's just how I am. I'm yeah. just a. Uh, like, if if it was six people in the room and we all sitting in quiet, I'm gonna sit here and be like, "So what's up, y'all? <laughs> what's your name? Definitely. <laughs> Why we all sitting here? Definitely. You feel me? Like I'm not about to just sit here and we like it's weird to me. Like it's rude to me. Like when you walk in a room and you don't say nothing to a person. Mm -hmm. Like I don't have to know you to say, "Oh, how you doing? What's up? You know, right. what's like like people like especially I I learned it too like. Like you be staring at a person, they be mm -hmm. they staring at you while you walking in the room. You're like, "What's up, bro?" Like, "What's up?" It just calm them down. Yeah. It let them know like I'm not a I'm not a threat. Like I'm right. not on nothing. Like, "What's up, bro?" Like you feel me? Like, right. why are you doing it? It just hold the door for a person. It's just little small gestures go a long way. You know. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely not wrong. I feel like having that type of like reaction to people and stuff that's a gift that's that just shows how important you are to me i think that you're just a valuable person in general Appreciate you know that. just having that effect on people so like my girl she said she like i don't see how you do that shit like like you just you said who talks to a person they doesn't know i said you ain't gonna never get to know nobody if you don't talk to them like she like you go everywhere you go you meet somebody mm. i'm like well it's not my fault she, yeah. but sometimes <laughs> a lot of that it's, it's been it came handy like mm -hmm. I just said what's up to a person and I'm trying to get in the club like hey yo I know him come on he, he good facts um, facts bro you feel me facts. just cause I opened my mouth last time I saw him mm -hmm. and said it was cool to him mm -hmm. oh I'm good you feel me he good like that just that can it can you know mouthpiece can, can get you in the room sometimes facts. definitely can. not wrong definitely they not can. wrong about that definitely so you said you're gonna have like more EPs that follow up with this as well. Will those be dropping like this year? Uh, I was my goal was I wanted to, but then that whole move threw everything off. Yeah, and but then like I learned like it's holiday season. You feel me? That's true. It's holiday season, Christmas season. Like my birthday in January, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save chapter I'm quarter first quarter. For the first quarter. Okay. <laughs> for the first quarter of the year. First quarter. Yeah. So. Okay, facts. Well, definitely make sure that y'all do stream um, his latest EP that he does have out right now. Kick off, okay? Five fire singles that's on here. Definitely make sure y'all tap in with that. Now, I didn't tell you before, but I'm going to tell you now anyway because it's whatever. So, we got 10 minutes of honesty where you got to answer questions honestly for 10 minutes, okay? So, y'all can't lie? No. Don't lie, Freddie. How you know I can just easily lie? Don't lie. All right, cool. I'm going to be honest. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna get to it. All right. First question. Black Jesus. Ha! This is so ironic. What's the best lie you ever told? <laughs> this is so ironic. What the fuck? The best lie I ever told. I'm dead. You know, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. I've been lying for a long time. Facts, you can't even I've been lying for a long time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's so fucking like ironic. Like, like, my mom used to say, like, if you can lie, you can steal. You can steal, you can Definitely. cheat. Definitely. He already told us he was a thief, so you Ooh, right. And I was a good cheater, too. I was a good cheater. A good cheater. <laughs> not like on women. Not women. I'm talking like Tess. Oh, okay. Because I ain't never cheat. <laughs> Period. If, 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 <laughs> Period. If we weren't together officially, oh, that's God. not cheating. Like, we just fucking ran. If I ain't tell you, you my girl. Back, you got to explain. Right. The fact you explain it like nah, that. Like, did I tell her she was my girl? Okay. Mm-hmm. Next question. He can't tell us the lie because, of it's course, it's it's the best lie. Matter of fact, my biggest lie was, yeah, you my girl. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Just to get that, get that girl. We'll get some mind. hate mails. What the fuck? But, uh, but you, you lied. I know more. Okay. I know more. As you should, King. Black men don't cheat. You don't. I'm about to be thirty. Support that message. Okay, next question. Is masturbation a healthy habit? No. You know why? It can get obsessive. (laughs) I know. (laughs) (laughs) Woo, boy. I'll be having to get myself great. Oh, my God. Say be honest. Say be honest. Look, my homie, right? My homie was like, he was like, bro, like, how many times I said Daily? He said, daily? I said, nigga, Al, he said, I said, my sh-. he said, every Thursday. I said, what the what? fuck? He got a time Thursday. set. He had well, a you, time set. You got to plan your night, tough. <laughs> nigga, the time is oh now. Oh, my God. Oh, I just saw the bitch on Instagram. Do she have a OnlyFans? What are you talking about? Like, what? What? Let oh me check her gosh. Reddit. What are you talking about? Oh, oh my, my God. God. Chill out, bro. What? So he said what? that's healthy. He I don't said see my bitch every day. Healthy. If you look, you live with your girl, you have sex every day? Oh, yeah. Alright then, nigga. I don't be with my bitch every day then, nigga. So something gonna have to happen. The you know fuck? Saying, but we ain't gotta be playing every day, but it's, 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 that's something we gonna get down. Sometimes people need to go to sleep. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. He's so funny. Okay, next question. <laughs> I'm gonna ask the pink ones. The I pink slow ones. Down, though. I have to the slow pink down, ones though. is the I best slow down. Oh, how much sex is too much sex? There's never enough sex. So no. every day. Every day. Three times a day. If we could, if we can wake up, fuck. We get off work, fuck. We go fuck <laughs> at night. Fucking <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> what are you talking about? The fuck. So is there ever a moment when you don't want to have sex where like you was offered? You know, or your girlfriend's in a mood. You're just like, no, I'm not. And she was just like, why not? A nigga tell a girl no, why not, huh? What you doing? <laughs> Some other bitch that did it. Like, oh, yeah, you don't hear that shit. You got to just do it. But then as I got fat a little bit, you know, I like, <laughs> I don't be having a lot of energy for all that shit. You feel me? I don't have a lot of energy for all that shit. That's, <laughs> that 30, down a little that bit. 30 minutes, you going to hop 15, <laughs> you all. You feel me? <laughs> nigga off that lick, we all. It's different though, but it's different. You feel me? So, oh my god! Could you? And I, I right, to that point. All right, cool. We've been fucking for an hour. Should mm-hmm. we just stop? You ain't bust in the hour. Nah, I'm drunk. I'm drunk, and I'm high. So, do you always want to bust when you have sex? You feel like you always got to bust. Crying, cause I'm cra- crying, you're laughing. Crying. You're cause I'm crying. crying, laughing right now. Um, as I get older, I feel like nah, I don't got another every time. I'm good. I have fun. Okay, so you, you, could, you could definitely stop you at the me? hour. I, I stopped. I, now, like at first, at first I did with my girl. She, but you didn't come. I'm like, I'm good though. I, I enjoyed it. Just you know, niggas, when you miss your nut, mm-hmm. sometimes it's hard to catch that it's nut. It's hard to get it back. You feel me? I didn't caught that. I didn't yeah. come in three times. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's too late now. Yeah, you feel me? Now I'm in here just stroking. <laughs> <laughs> we just which position now? What are you talking Don't about? You feel me? <laughs> I'm <don't laughs> beating this bitch here. <laughs> 
You feel facts, me? Facts, facts. If you miss your nut, I miss my nut. I hear bitches like, oh, niggas don't nut because they dick don't work. No, bitch. I didn't miss my nut. You feel me? I didn't miss my That's a real thing. That's what bitches say? Yeah, bitch. When you don't, when you fucking for a long time, bitches say it's something. Like, they're like, oh, it's something wrong with you. Yeah. Women get upset when you don't come, bro. Oh, my gosh. Wrong with them. Like, they not doing nothing. No, you, I just prevented that. Baby, remember I was, and I was like, I was catching myself. Catch yourself. Getting it together. I was catching myself. You feel me? Okay. Fair you feel enough. Me? Fair enough. I did that for a reason. Uh, Oh my goodness, y'all! He got me crying up in here. No, literally, like she just like it was a big tears. ass tear that just like came down my face. Okay. Mm. You Can a man be loved without money? No. Yes. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. 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 Nah. Nah. Yeah. Like it just. Okay. So what? What type of money? We talking? He can just have a couple of dollars, or he got to have some stacks in order for him to be loved. Nah, I'm talking about this. Baby, you got a good job. All right, cool. I want you to bring in that money, and I'm going to stay home all day and clean the house. You know, I'm going to cook. I'm going to play my game. You know, you bring in that money, though, baby. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to take care of the house. Eventually, eventually, I ain't going to be taking care of this grown-ass man. Woo, 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 and blah, blah, blah. But a man supposed to take care of everything. Like, you flip it, like... Well, you the provider. You supposed to do. You supposed to do, like it's that's the, it's the neck for me. You don't feel me? I'm I'm very okay. hand and neck. Right. I do the whole. Uh, people argue with me. They get. I just did my shit. Why you? What's up with the neck and the hand? I'm like this. I mean, like this is what I do. This is what I do. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but like, no, I don't think so. I don't like if you don't got if you're not bringing that money in because mm. eventually that girl gonna want that soft life. Wow. She gonna want that soft life. Okay. You can be a hard working woman, but one day, mm. damn, this nigga ain't bought me no car. But what if she got money saved up for that day so she can also contribute? No, we we not talking about save up money for contribute. You gonna contribute? I want you to take care of me. Mm. I'm gonna clean the house, come home, eat whatever I gotta eat, do whatever I gotta do, clean whatever. I- I'm going to do this, but you going to pay my car note. You're going to pay my credit card bill because mm. I got to play 2K. And, you know, them packages ain't free. Mm. You feel me? So I need a new Xbox. I mean, PlayStation, Team PlayStation. So it's things I need you to do for me. Are you willing? Are you going to do that? Get this bum-ass nigga out of my face. I'm not taking care of this nigga. better go back to his mama's house. True or false? Mm. Wow. True or false? I mean, yeah. I don't know any bitch that's going to pay your credit card bills. She, I know a nigga that's going to pay for everything. She is. He going to pay I your mortgage. Know. He, he going to pay your rent, your your Mercedes your, your Mercedes car note. He going to uh, give you but, a monthly fee. But the basis of the question was money. So I'm saying to you is that there's no nigga, regular nigga right now, that's putting out those demands that you're saying. No nigga is saying to a woman, bitch, pay these things or I ain't fucking you. No, nah, you said so, no money. as far as money... No money. You're saying no. So I'm saying, what type of money? Because this nigga's getting bitches that's broke, apparently. Oh, yeah, they so is. What, is, what is the type of money you got to have to to at least acquire a woman of some sort? Uh, I be seeing a lot of videos on social media, and a, a lot of them say he can't make minimum wage. Mm. He, like, I, uh, she said, do say, I'll make 70 that She said 70 mm. The she, seventy thousand? She wasn't going for the seventy thousand. She looked at him like, "Nigga, please, seventy? <laughs> That's tough. It ain't about the money. That's tough. It's not about what a person making. It's about the, the situation. That's exactly. Exactly. Are you able to go from here? Going on a vacation? Or if we gonna go out to Smee's in the back. Y'all can't hear him, but he's in the back. Yeah. <laughs> but he was basically saying like, he basically saying like. If you at the able to step up when I want you, all right, we about to go on vacation. Can you pay for it? Can you put some money up? Can okay. you do this? Like, yeah, like, it's, it's like me. She was like, you know what I mean? Like, I got my girl make more money than me. Feel me? Like, hell yeah, yeah, I don't care. Because I don't care what's yeah. look. Look, no, I, I look I'm going to tell you because like look, you cool, you make more money. I don't give a fuck. That's you going to look. You going to you gonna still check the tone. Check. I don't care. Like, I'm going to let you get your little rocks off, but when it's time to put my foot in, uh, let's not stop. 
just because you make a little bit more money than you think that matter? Now, you can't, you want to be with me because what type of man I am, mm-hmm. what type of man I am is not going to let you think just because you make more money than me. I don't care mm-hmm. because I can make less than you, but I'm still paying for this. I'm still paying for this. Mm-hmm. I'm still taking you on trips. I'm still doing this. But you make more money than me. Mm-hmm. I'm still proving, like, just because you, cool. You got, how much money you got put up? Cool. That's mm-hmm. your money. Mm-hmm. That's not my money. Mm-hmm. But then I guarantee you, the millions pop off. My money is our money. Mm-hmm. Right. That's sad. If you didn't marry her, it's not her money. Just saying. Facts. Just don't have that Okay, next question. <laughs> Because this is a conversation about Cheesecake Factory right now, and I'm just like, oh my God. clearly it's niggas. Did y'all see what Russell, Russ, w- Russell Wilson, house. he rented out a Waffle House for her. But she said, what, oh my God. That's what I'm saying. He like, know how much I love the, Waffle the standard, The standard it's ain't about, matching. It's not matching. The standard's a, not matching. No, but exactly, because these are some millionaires, and the small things matter. But mm-hmm. you broke individuals. You say bitches. You broke bitches want rich nigga tendencies. But no, you want to live a rich life when you're broke. No. And to me, and can, I'm not being on no pick me behavior because it is what it is. But I feel like if, if as a woman, if you're going to demand certain things, you have to substitute it. Like if you don't want a nigga to take you X, Y, and Z or whatever, is you going to cook for that nigga? Mm. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's like a, okay, let me do this instead type of thing. You know, because it's like... You, do you know one the thing? The nigga I, can't cook, so he gonna take you out. Like, fuck. Do you know what I hate though? Like, are they be like, oh, the man he's supposed to provide. That's what a man's supposed to do. All right, but then when a man say something, what a woman's supposed to do? They say, oh, those, those, uh, those were putting on us a long time ago. We separating ourselves from that. Yes. Was woman like oppressed back then? Yes. Like you couldn't even get a fucking bank account without mm-hmm. your husband mm-hmm. approval. Like, women came a long way. But y'all talking about, I don't want to be that way. Like, well, you got a, back then, a wife, you feel me? She dealt with the husband, like, not he not always, he tired from work. You feel me? But she dealt with the little argue, like, she, know, she didn't deal with the argue because he wasn't about to argue with you. You know what I'm saying? Back then, you don't know what grandpa was doing to grandma. You feel me? Yeah. Why you true. think it's, why you think granddaddy got so many other kids and grandma still there? They stuck through that shit. Grandma knew what it was. But I feel like it, it's not just even women not conforming. Men don't either. Niggas don't know how to build shit. You know what I'm saying? That niggas was doing back in the day. That's a fact. There's a lots of traits on fact. both sides That's that have fallen as far as like statistics. So I think it is more so just the the everything being put on blast now with social media. Now you got to compare what you getting, and you didn't even know you was happy before you didn't know exactly. what you was getting. But, that, so. but that's what's but see, but the internet. But the but the internet and all this social media I'm just gonna do that. Like I heard I seen I heard somebody say some some podcast. He was saying back then, you know, with all these phones, you know what I'm saying, follow you can text me all day. Mm-hmm. When you get home, you couldn't wait to call me mm-hmm. so we can talk about our day. Mm-hmm. But now you got access to talk to me all, all day, day long. long. You got my location and shit. Mm-hmm. Like you just too damn nosy. Just Thanks. too it's too much access. Like back then, like they had little magazines and stuff like that. But what you saw around you, the women and the men, that's what you had around you. Oh, he he good at this, he provide for this, she good at that, she do this. But then now it's like, oh, I seen a bitch just get a Birkin bag. I just seen a nigga just do here, this. Yo. I didn't seen this. You compare your life to everybody else, mm-hmm. it's fucking your life up. Mm-hmm. And that's what social media, like, they do it to us in small little ways. Definitely. But, but still, you got to have some type of control over that. Yeah. You definitely do. Because you don't want to be that individual that, like, just want to conform to what everybody else doing. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not what you But <clears throat> that's the reason why I feel like this conversation of men and women continues to happen. Every day there's a new conversation around that subject Always. but it's it's the same issue same they just thing. reword it <laughs> every day same but thing. honestly that's really what it is everybody's too busy comparing and not really just enjoying the shit that's you know what i'm saying so i feel that 100 percent. like i be cooking so I, I can't relate i don't know but so, shout out to you freddie you definitely snapped on the 10 minutes honestly it was more like 15 but 
know what I'm saying? Okay. We're gonna, we gonna let you rock that out because you was doing your thing. I got high hands. You was doing your thing. And then another thing. And another thing. You know the thing. You motherfucking bitches. <laughs> Definitely going crazy. No, I appreciate that. I always like to hear male perspectives because I deal with a lot of females and it's a lot of that type of behavior. But accountability is a theme that lacks, unfortunately, among the, the female race. So, like, it, gotta bring it, it up sometimes. Has to be. We gotta bring it up sometimes. So, again, the holiday season's ending up. I know you said you're gonna be dropping some stuff on your birthday, but. You know, what else can we expect from you? Are you going to do any more performances this year? Um, I really was looking to do some performance. I'm trying to see what shows I can do. I want to get a few more in for the year end. You better hurry up. I know. I'm looking. I've been looking. I've been looking. But then I'm a, I'm a, but I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is drop a few singles, though. I am going to drop a few singles. Okay. Just to, like, end the year off with some with some more music. Yeah. So, and, and plus it's more like a, a rollout to what I'm going to be putting out. Mm-hmm. So, Cause that's how I mean, kind of do it. Like, say, <clears throat> I got the five songs, right? So I drop a single one week. I promote it. Mm-hmm. Put you no know, advertise that week. Next week I drop another song. All right, and then do the same thing. On that third week, I'm gonna drop my EP. Mm-hmm. So when I drop my EP. I can just now those two songs that I was focused on. I they've been heard. Okay, I see what you're doing. It's just to try to drive people in to mm-hmm. hear what's coming. Yeah. Then like once I drop that, I'm gonna have three new songs you can listen to. It's not too much. I know people like don't want to hear a bunch of long songs all the time now and long projects. So mm-hmm. if I give you like a little fifteen minute little look. So count a EP. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's easy to listen to. Next. Especially if it's decent. Yeah. Especially when it's good. Okay. Especially, <laughs> especially, especially. Especially. No, that's what's up. I definitely think that's, you know, a smart route to go. You know, with TikTok and like trending songs and things like that, yeah. singles right now, to me, is the way to go. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just get that one album that just like take off. But yeah. I think that's the smart thing to do. You know what I'm saying? I like the EP. I like the five songs. You know what I'm saying? I think that's solid. And, I mean, it's a vibe. I already know bringing the vibes for sure. My thing, too, is let's say, like, let's say, like, I put out six EPs, right? Mm-hmm. I blow up my six EP. People start listening to that six EP. They going to have, most of them people going to wind up going back. Absolutely. They going to listen to all that other music. Mm-hmm. Now, when I own all that music mm-hmm. and I got the rights to all that music, mm-hmm. that's a lot of money. Yeah. But that's you're it. absolutely right. That's how that should go. Anytime I... St- I come across an artist that I I just found or whatever. I, I try to go find all, all the, shit the shit that they did before. Let me go see what some old exactly. shit they did. Let me go find. Absolutely right. You're exactly. absolutely you know, right. And that's and that that shit work. You know they let they let them open up and see what type of artist you were and see your what your humble beginnings and yeah. and where you at now. So Thanks. that's my goal. Thanks. Absolutely. So where are we going to see Freddie B in a couple of years? Like, what's the ultimate goal for you music wise? Do you want to get to that? you know, sign status, or do you feel like you can just build in an independent world? Um, I really, I don't see myself being, I can, only way I say I'm signed in a way like we doing a distribution deal. Okay. It's a partnership. Yeah. I, I don't see myself being, in a sense, like, told what to do with my own music. Like, when people are like, this is what I feel for my, you're like, nah, mm. we don't want that. We want you to do this. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Like, I want to have some type of, like, who was that? Uh, Ty Dolla Sign and, and, Kanye, and Kanye about to come out with, a, with an album, right? Mm. They're like, yo, we got this album. Who want to put it out? Mm. Like, they got the product. Who want to be in partnership with us? You feel me? We can do it by ourselves, but we know we can, we can use your, your, your resources. Like, that's what I want to do in the sense, like, build for myself. Or, like, keep my, I want to get my point that my label becomes a, a a known label in a sense because i don't want to always do music i want to be in the back do the background of it mm-hmm. like I, in a few years i see myself more so as an engineer mm-hmm. you know i'm still gonna make music but i want to be an engineer with the music i want to learn more about how to mix and how to master and, and get that and like how to make beats that's what i really see myself going okay. because i want to learn more and better my craft and just be the best artist overall because I don't see myself as a rapper. I see okay. myself as an artist. So, you know, I, it's no stop, no stopping me. Yeah, hey. absolutely, definitely, 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 definitely. <laughs> you know, now you got to make sure you let everybody know where they can tap in with you, tune in in case they want to collab or get a beat or anything like that. 
Well, you can catch me on all platforms. It's FMB underscore Little Freddy B. I repeat, FMB underscore Little Freddy B. And uh, Freddy is IE, not Y. IE, not Y. <laughs> IE, don't fuck it up. IE, IE. <laughs> all platforms. Absolutely, absolutely, definitely. No, but I'm excited for everything that you have, you know, coming and the stuff that you'll be putting out. And again, you know, I'm just. I'm just happy we connected. You know, I feel like we really bonded, you know, always doing our tour thing. And it's just good to have a genuine, you know, connection with somebody that's really trying to do some stuff. So, I mean, I want to get on track. You know what I'm saying? You could just. No, I remember, like, like to be honest, I, I was at the the awards. We won that award. And it was so crazy. I laughed at myself. <laughs> because when they said your name, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you would have thought I fucking won. Like, the people next to me was like, oh, my girl. my girl. She walked up like, let's go downstairs, team. Let's go. I was happy as hell. Like, yes. like, that's what people need to start doing more. Like, it's really supporting people. Like, right. it's not hard to support people. Like, Thanks. Like, all right, if I say, hey, can you check out music? You don't got time right now, but just, like, yeah. check it out later. You feel me? Like, if I got 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you, you got 10, 15 minutes, you can throw on the background. You do it all the time mm-hmm. for people you don't even know. Right. So if you can't, like, if you can just support people you don't even know, grew up with, but you can support somebody you never met in your life, you know, that's just, I don't know. It's hard for me not to support people I know. Mm-hmm. Like, I just want to do, be there, come to a show, do this, like, like help them out in any type of way. Like if I learn some 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 insight, I'm gonna give you the insight too. You yeah. feel me? Like I'm not gonna hold you back. You feel right. me? Because if I don't make it, you might make it. You feel mm-hmm. me? And then, mm-hmm. Don't forget it. Okay. Don't forget about me, bro. Because no matter what you do, I'm still gonna do my motion, <laughs> but still. Yeah. But it, you can help the next man. You feel me? Don't try to make it all personal about yourself. And, Thanks. You know. Facts. Gotta have a team. Shit. Definitely. No, you're right, though. Support is big. I feel like we definitely all bonded out there. You know, you got my support for life. Anything that you got going on, you know, we locked in for sure. Smitty in the back. Sleepy as hell. Okay, sleepy as hell. They got a, they got a little travel they got to do. Damn, <laughs> but I definitely appreciate y'all sliding out here and kicking with me, chopping it up with me. You know, keep me in tune. Let me know what's going on. You know, I'm going to try to support it if I can. Definitely. I didn't, you know, I, and then, you know, I really appreciate you because you really come out south a lot in a sense. I do. And then, like, for you to come out here, like, you, you really, do you be going to Indiana? Yes. You it's be going travel. to Indiana? <laughs> you be taking voyages. <laughs> voyage. I'm like, damn, she be coming from all the way out here. Yeah, but, man. Hey, but the people be paying me, you feel me? I'm going to pull up. That's a You fact. pay that book if I'm there. <laughs> but I appreciate you again for sliding through. Make sure y'all tap in with my boy today and make sure y'all stream the EP kickoff right the fuck now. Okay? Shout out to Pillow Talk Nation as always. Appreciate y'all for tuning in with your girl. Send it love and like to y'all on this day. We got an hour five minute drive. <laughs>